your eyewitness weather forecast. Hey, good evening to you. I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, and we're going to show you the weekend weather coming up because why not? It's Monday and uh, we've got some good news. Uh, not so much tonight into tomorrow as we have rounds of wet weather that will be moving in. First things first, no problems. If you're heading out this evening, the weather should be fine. We're just noticing the clouds start to increase. Uh, but eventually it will start raining probably toward midnight. 75 now, the dew point in the low 60s with a west northwesterly wind, which will become variable overnight as rain develops. It becomes steadier and heavier while you're sleeping, really. Uh, so this is really kind of an overnight ordeal. Low temperatures in the low 60s. Now, there's going to be rain and rumbles around throughout the day tomorrow. Is it going to rain every hour all day? No. But the steadiest of the rain will likely taper to some scattered showers into the afternoon as it becomes breezy at times. And quite a few clouds will keep temperatures like in the low 70s. That's it. Uh, so here's a look at uh, a flood watch that's in effect. This is for localized flash flooding down to the south. Uh, Sego County could have locally one to two inches as a slug of moisture uh, arrives overnight. Not much going on now, but not too far away to the south and west. You can see the rain expanding. Uh, this is all going to continue to lift north and east. Notice the front edge of this kind of gets eaten up a little bit here, but you know you get down into north central Pennsylvania and down into the southern tier some. Uh, heavier rain that will continue to expand its way to the north and east. So again, by midnight, it will likely be raining. 75 now in town, mid 70s Cooperstown to Hartwick and up in the Adirondacks. We're in the low 70s. Kind of a wider perspective, couple areas of low pressure. So this first slug of rain coming into the southern tier now will go out a little bit. Another area of low pressure over Michigan. These two kind of work in tandem with each other, although they don't really phase, but you know, we're going to kind of get this one round of rain and then the next round comes in uh, while you're sleeping as well. So on and off rain showers through the course of the day. Tomorrow, maybe a rumble of thunder. The good news is, is all the severe weather will be to the south. So we don't have to worry about anything like we had going back to last week. Uh, but you could hear a rumble of thunder. So there's the rain expanding north as we go into the overnight and into tomorrow morning. It will likely be raining, so make sure you have the umbrellas. Notice how it tapers to some scattered showers into tomorrow afternoon. Uh, and again, quite a few clouds around. So I promised we'd talk about the weekend because this weekend weather's looking great. Lots of sunshine both Saturday and Sunday, upper 70s to the low and mid 80s. There's a little taste of summer. And it should be, but here's the thing, only five weeks to go. That's it, five more weeks of summer. At least it will start to feel like it a little bit as we go through the next uh, few days here. So not so tomorrow, rain and rumble, 72. Turns brighter Wednesday afternoon, warmer on Thursday, partly to mostly sunny, highs into the low and mid 80s, windy with a leftover shower Friday tapering, highs only near 70, and again, a beautiful weekend in store, 77 Saturday, I think low and mid 80s by Sunday and into Monday. Jamie, over to you.